It's no secret that Louisiana is starting from a place of hundreds of years of challenges, a history that's beautiful in many ways, but an ugly history in many ways too. You're not going to right the wrongs of history overnight. It's going to take time, but it also necessitates acknowledging the problems and working to remedy them. Louisiana has faced a lot of challenges. They are one of the poorest states in the nation. They were devastated by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Yet over the last decade, Louisiana has been a major innovator in education policy. Louisiana has put in place strategies that are setting higher expectations and trying to help children excel from birth through 12th grade and beyond. RAM began studying Louisiana back in 2015. We had administered a survey to a national sample of teachers. We were trying to learn how much teachers knew about college and career ready standards in their state. Starting in 2017, we were able to take a deeper dive into Louisiana's education strategies. And we looked at the education strategies themselves, as well as the impact that they were having on teachers and students in schools. The type of research that RAM did in this case, I think is all too often not done. You know, it doesn't lead to dramatically conclusive findings that are gonna find their way under the cover of the New York Times. It leads instead to a story, a comprehensive and in-depth story. In other words, they came to Louisiana, they tried to find the essence of what this state has done in its schools, they tried to understand how it's really playing out on the ground, and I'm very grateful for the way they went about their work. Rand's research have really given us a lens onto the opportunities and the challenges in the early childhood system. The state's work to create a common definition of quality for all publicly funded early childhood centers in Louisiana. They've initiated key reforms with accountability, and they've also offered incentives to help align with the definition of quality. Rand's research does identify real improvements in what pre-Ks and child cares are doing every day. Our teachers are teaching a high quality curriculum, for example. They're measuring the extent to which children are growing developmentally, even infants and toddlers. Some of their strategies include creating a rating system for quality centers that requires classroom observations of all publicly funded centers. And this rating system information is also put online so that parents can see how different centers are rated. The state is also providing reviews of early childhood curricula, similar to what we see in the K-12 grades, but for early childhood, they're also helping to pay for the purchase of some top-tier curricula for centers. The state also now requires an early childhood teacher credential that raises the minimum education standards and the expectations for teacher preparation for lead teachers throughout the state. But also, Rand's research indicates that those changes don't come without a cost, and sometimes that cost is confusion. And no question, there were teachers and school leaders and, and the owners of child cares throughout the process that Rand identified as not understanding fully what was happening and needing to be more informed. And that's valuable insight for us at the state level. The next step will be to evaluate the effect of these policies. And we could do that by looking at things like early reading scores or other measures of student performance in kindergarten to third grade going forward. Louisiana's K-12 academic policies have really centered around curricula, trying to define high-quality curricula and encourage teachers to use it in the classroom as well as schools to adopt it. States usually release long lists of curricula that they've approved. What makes Louisiana different is that they didn't do that. They listed online reviews of curriculum and they categorized curricula according to tiers. So tier one is meeting expectations in terms of being really well aligned with standards. Tier two is partially meeting expectations and tier three is not meeting expectations. Unlike other states, they not only said what was good, but they also said what was not meeting their standards. Louisiana has offered a lot of incentives for schools to adopt high quality curricula and for teachers to use it. First, they offer free professional development for tier one curricula. Second, they offer the curricula at a discounted rate for schools that want to adopt it. And we, in our surveys, saw that these incentives may be encouraging more use of tier one curricula. Over half of Louisiana teachers in some of our surveys reported using tier one curricula for math and use of tier one curricula for English language arts is growing. Rand's research has indicated that Louisiana's teachers have a much better grasp than do teachers in most states as to what new academic standards demand of teachers. At the same time, Rand's research has also identified there's plenty of teachers in Louisiana who don't yet have uh, the requisite knowledge to teach the curriculum and the new standards appropriately, and that's humbling, and it's also 
uh, gives us guidance as to where we need to dig in and make things better. One of the biggest challenges that Louisiana faces in education, and it's a challenge that many states face, are persistent achievement gaps between high and low income learners, between black and white learners. Teachers are faced with classrooms full of diverse students at different achievement levels and trying to figure out how to meet all their needs through one standards aligned grade level curricula is a great challenge. So Louisiana is beginning to ask, how can we create better remediation, better supports, more culturally relevant materials to meet all of those needs? Louisiana faced a lot of challenges with opportunities for its high school graduates. Louisiana has a lower high school graduation rate and lower college enrollment rate than the average in the nation. It faces a shortage of workers with certain technical skills, and at the same time, a growing number of jobs, both in the state and in the nation, require a college degree. So the state made some changes. To improve job opportunities for its high school graduates, the state implemented a system where high school students could earn national and regional professional credentials that were in line with the needs of the labor market. And in 2018, Louisiana's high school students earned 100,000 of these credentials, but it's still too early to know how this affected their job opportunities. RAND's research on our graduation pathways is important because it helps us to identify where there are areas, industry areas, where students are pursuing credentials that may not matter ultimately in terms of their upward mobility. Career and technical education is important, especially if it helps get young people a toehold in the economy. And where that's not happening is a problem. To improve college enrollment, Louisiana required that all high school students take the ACT college entrance exam and also fill out federal financial aid forms. And while we can't prove cause and effect with the data that we have, during the same time period from 2011 to 2018, the number of Louisiana high-achieving, low-income or minority students who enrolled in college more than doubled. The RAND findings point to Louisiana as not a singular success story or as any miracle, but uh, as a place that has tried to create a plan that is comprehensive and that's coherent. We think that our reports have created a kind of playbook that other states can use so that if they're interested in pursuing the kinds of innovative things that Louisiana has done, they can. The main challenge is that it takes time to see the results of all this work. So we want to look at Louisiana not just today, but in a few years or even in 10 years to really understand the outcomes from these efforts. But at the same time, we think that these strategies are notable and worthy of reflection in and of themselves. And we have seen that teachers in Louisiana are doing things differently than they are in the rest of the United States. And teachers work in the classroom changing is really the first step to seeing improvements in what students do and better student outcomes.